here is David Shapiro. Yossi, your eyes went up when uh, you heard that the very marks lost another financial director. This time he didn't even last two weeks. <laughs> Can you imagine what he found? Or he didn't like his parking, I'm not sure. No, definitely it's the parking. <laughs> Nothing to do with what he found in the company, of course. Hey, you, you could have a feel for Mike von Straten. It's almost like he gets beat up every, every time he lifts his head above the parapet. The, uh, we're supposed to go to court today, David. That was postponed until Thursday on the delisting of Verimark. I think what has happened in the last little while with the Verimark story will probably dissuade any other mm, uh, mm. company who's thinking of doing the same thing. I think that's the good news, is that a lot of companies who came to the market a few years ago and uh, you know made a lot of money where the share prices are high, now they're trying to push down you know prices by saying that things are bad there and then go buy back their companies at a fraction of the price. I think that's going to prevent them doing for, that. For the record, mm. MoneyWeb's share price the <laughs> other day went from 54 cents, where it's been yeah. for ages, to 31 cents. Yeah, in one deal. And somebody sold 1,000 shares, mm. so they got 310 rand. Mm. It isn't us. We aren't pushing the share price down, trying to delist no, the company. No, okay. I know. Well, I'm just, I'm just I, saying. I, I, I can understand mm. that, but, but it can be a tactic that some of the companies mm. use. You know, to, well, to people delist, get yeah. scared. They see 31 mm. cents, I suppose, mm. and, and away they go. Mm. Davey, the uh, market pulled up nicely towards <laughs> the close. 200, 200 points between 2 o'clock and the end of trade. Alec, you know, we were bracing ourselves for a very negative day, I think, after yesterday's record run. Of course, after the run that we've had, I think for the last two weeks, in fact, we've been waiting for some sell-off, and it's not coming. In fact, if you, looked at our, if you looked at our market, there was still considerably more gainers than losers uh, in all segments uh, of the market, particularly industrials, very strong. But while the JSE was rising, the gold price jumped $15 mm -hmm. in that time mm -hmm. as well. Are the two correlated? I, I, I not really. Uh, yeah, they are. I think a lot has to do with China, and a lot has to do with commodity prices going up. I was surprised as well. I saw copper come off, but I expected other metals to come down. Oil was up. Uh, platinum kept ticking Oil's better. crept up to $74 mm, a mm, barrel. Mm, that's mm. worrying. It, 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 if anything, it looks like it's going to go higher. You know, at a time that we've been waiting for the for a wave of, of profit taking or things to slow down. David, there was results this morning out of Extrata. Uh -huh. We were hoping to talk uh -huh. with Mick uh -huh. Davis and then they had to uh -huh. change uh -huh. the the um disc the the I think it was um the conference call that they had to do with uh -huh. their investors. Anyway, we missed that. But he's once he's still continuing along this line of trying to say that the merger with Anglo-American should go ahead. Well, he, that's his ploy. And, and Anglo, and what, if you read his statements, he's saying things are going to get bad and it's far too early for the turnaround. Now you're going to hear Anglos coming out on their roadshows with complete opposite view as they both fight for position. So I think it's going to be a very interesting uh, battle. Estrada do not want to increase the premium and believe that the offer that they make is the, is the correct But one. it's dead in the water where it is at the moment. I, I would say so. I think Estrada have got to pull something out or alternatively they've got to be right about this market coming back. And their profits were down by more than Anglo's, mm. so that mm. didn't help their case. And then vehicle sales today in mm. South Africa, we were hoping there'd be a turn, not quite mm. yet. Not yet. Still very, very low. And I think that we're, we're, we're lagging the rest of the world. The rest of the world starting to pull out of it. You're seeing better mo um, home, home data coming out of the U.S., but I think we've still got a six months of tough, tough times ahead.